Hey everyone, we are going to be discussing Themeco's Global Blocks uh, feature that they have just added in their version 2 and version um, of their themes. So we're going to go ahead and dive right in. This will require you to be on the most up-to-date version. So if you're not, go ahead and update. Make sure you're validated and you shouldn't have any issues updating since they've now released um, auto-updates through the uh, processing system. So if you navigate to your pro menu here, or if you navigate over here, you'll see a global blocks section. Hey, Karen. Once you're in the global blocks section, it's going to actually have your section over here on the left to show you all of your global blocks. And then on the right hand side, once you've actually um, gone ahead and selected a global block, it'll show you the preview of what it looks like. So let's go through the process of making a new global block. What you're going to do is go ahead on the left hand side, you're going to click add new and you're going to name it. So let's uh, name this one contact form. And we're going to make something similar to this one. So once we've created contact form, you can see there's no preview. So we're going to go ahead and click on this pencil icon and we're going to edit it. Now, once we've gone ahead, and this is just like the regular Cornerstone Builder that everyone is used to, so you should be pretty familiar with how to um, add your content to the Builder. You're going to add a section, and then from there, you're going to go ahead and add your elements. I'm going to add a gravity form element right here, just so that we have, because uh, I want to put a contact form on the bottom of all the pages that I gone ahead and uh, add this global block to so that way it's easy for people to go ahead and contact the company so from there we can go ahead and style this section however we want so let's go ahead and add a background color here and then we have our simple contact form block that we want to use hey Ronald hey Martin so once you've gone ahead and done that, you can go ahead and click save at the bottom left. And then when we go back to our global blocks, you're going to see that we have the contact form here. And when you click on this, it's going to show you the preview. Now you notice that there's a short code up here and we can actually use this short code and I'll show you how to do that later. So we can highlight that and copy it. Let's go to our content and let's go to our page that we want to add the global block. So from here we have our page with all of our content. Let's pretend this is all content. And we're gonna go ahead and add a section. And inside that section, we're going to search for the element global. And then we can click and drag that right into here. Let's go ahead and select which global block we want, contact form. And here it is. Now you may be thinking to yourself, well there's a whole bunch of padding on the left and right, and that wasn't there when we actually set up the global block. This can be easily fixed if you go into your layout, drop down the section, click on row with the magnifying glass, turn off inner container, and then now you have a full width. And you'll notice that there's some padding above and below. We can also fix that by clicking on the section and turning off the padding as well. So now we have a complete section right here. So let's go ahead and uh, save this. Let's save this as a template so we can easily insert this into other pages um, just for demo purposes. Let's go to, let's make sure we save it. Let's go ahead over here to the content. Um, let's go over to our templating page and add some more blocks. So we have this, let's go ahead and, and load our template that we made just so it's an easier thing. But in order to add it to another page, you would just go ahead and add it just the same. Um, so we have our block here. So let's go ahead and save this and let's open this page in a new tab and then let's go ahead and do the same thing 
And right now you don't have to worry about what's going on, just opening new pages. Okay, so we have this page with our global block and we have this page with our global block, okay? So let's go ahead and make a change to that block so that it changes completely. So instead of just a contact form, now we wanna go ahead and add maybe some of our contact information on the right hand side, just because it'll make it simpler. Let's split this column, let's go into a headline headline click and drag that go over here and then we have our size color and then we want to do an icon list and that's where all of our information will go and then we want to add a button Perfect. So this is where we're editing our global block. So now we have this. And we can actually go ahead back to our other pages and refresh. And you can see that it made the change on both of these pages automatically. We don't have to worry about, um, we don't have to worry about using, updating them individually uh, or anything like that. Everything that we've made changes in this block will automatically get applied to the other two blocks that we've applied to our pages. Michael says, don't forget to tell people they can use ACF fields in V2 global blocks the same way as they could in your global blocks. So according to Michael, you can use ACF fields in V2 blocks, version two meaning um, new section, the version two sections and version two elements, um, the same way that they could previously in his plugin that he released um, over a year ago for global blocks. So that consistency moves over to the new version of global blocks that Theme Code's released. So you should be good to go to go ahead and transfer your templates over to the new global blocks um, and there won't be any conflicts. Thanks, Michael. Appreciate that. So let's go ahead and we're going to save this and we're going to go to a new page. And if you remember earlier, I mentioned that we can use global blocks as a short code, um, which is great because that means we can put this block anywhere inside of um, headers, footers, things of that nature, so that you don't have to actually be limited to um, your uh, content. So let's go to the templates. I'm sorry, let's go to global blocks. And let's copy and paste this. Let's go to our footers. Let's go ahead and make a new footer. Add this, edit this. Add new bars, containers. Let's go over to the content area. And we'll paste that in. And we have that there. So it looks a little weird because I don't have this set to auto, but we set that to auto and we're good to go. So we can put our global blocks in the footers now. So if we have something that we wanted to use for footers and on pages, we can also do that. So if you wanted to have your contact information like that, we can put it in the footer just as easily as we put it into the content. Because if you notice, there's no global, um, blo actually there is, they put one. I wasn't there before. So it's easy as that then. I'll put my foot in my mouth. So the global block contact form. Okay. Either way, you could do that if you're not using the footer then. If you're using regular X footers or pro footers, you can go ahead and insert your, your short code inside of the footer here. If you wanted to do something like that, if you're not using the footer builder. Okay. And you can see that right there. So that we can actually insert it there and have it right here. 
all the text can be changed through all the settings. Let's see, let's go ahead and leave this. Ta-da! So global blocks, real simple to use. Uh, make a change in one spot, it'll change it in everywhere that you have the global blocks. Um, so it's not too much different than than uh, Michael's previous plugin. So if you're already using his plugin, then using the ThemeCo first party one will be just as simple uh, for using the um, the new global blocks. Let's see, does anybody have any questions at all? Thanks, Karen. It was great to have you. Catch up later. If anybody has any questions, definitely let me know. While I'm online, I will be happy to answer them. Very quick run through. Um, and if you need more specifics, let me know of what to do. But basically, it's a very simple thing to do. Um, for the global blocks, you have all of yours sitting here. And then you can duplicate them, delete them, edit them here. Ronald, so if, if you change the padding, yeah, you won't be able to change the padding on a, on a per use basis. You would only be able to change the padding here um, while you're editing the block. So if maybe the maybe it would be great if you wanted to insert it at the bottom of a blog post and you're going ahead and you're using some type of builder to do that. It might work there. So if you wanted to do a global block at the bottom of your posts or at the bottom of your custom post type, you can go ahead and add the short code in in your builder and it'll go ahead and take the shape of the section and then you don't have to change it on every single blog post you can just change it in the short code settings so that could that could be a very good use for the um, for the short code of the global block thank you guys for joining me um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys on Monday